Hi, I'm Dion and welcome to your little yoga fix where we sneak a bit of yoga into your day. Today, chair yoga. Go grab a chair. I'm using one of those foldy majiggies. Don't worry if you don't have a foldy majig. You know what I mean. So you want to set your chair up with the seat away from you and take your hands to the top of the chair and you want your hands to be shoulder width apart, minimum. If you've got tight shoulders, take the hands a little bit wider. And then step your feet back, but have your feet about hip width distance apart. Gently bend the knees and then try and lengthen through the arms so you've got a bit of space for the upper body. So as you bend your knees, just allow the chest and the head to sink towards the ground. Keep pressing the hands into the chair and as you do so perhaps you can feel your armpits opening up this is a really nice stretch for the front and the sides of the body really great if you've had a long day this is also a nice way to practice your down dog so start to reach your bum far back behind you and feel the lengthening, especially through the lower and mid part of your back. And then see if the chest can melt just a little bit more, softening the face and finding a really easy, even breath. See if you can Really lengthen the breath, making your inhale and your exhale about the same length. And just take one last cycle of breath. And on your next inhale, press into the hands a bit more. Slowly start to lift the chest up. And then walk the feet towards the hands and then flip the chair around to face you now. I always feel like Janet Jackson or something in my dreams. Take your hands to the seat, either side of the seat. And this time your feet aren't going to step back as far, They're probably going to be somewhere underneath your shoulders. And then keep the left foot where it is, feet still hip width distance apart. And then step the right foot a little bit back and then bring the heel to the floor. Okay. And then you can notice through your low back whether your hips are even. So you're looking for that sensation of um, you having a, a flat area around the back of the pelvis. If it feels a bit wonky, then see if you can gently adjust between your left and your right foot. And then when you're in place, you can decide whether you want to deepen the pose. So if you do have room to go deeper, on an exhale, you can fold towards the chair. So there's no force or pressure here. It's not about how deep you can go into the pose. It's just about how you can stay with your breath and just be in this really strange shape. without allowing any tension to creep up. So some of you may feel that you can actually rest your head on the chair, which can feel very nice. If the head feels a long way away from the chair, you may have a blanket or something underneath. Or anything that just allows you to really rest. So this is a, a really nice stretch if you've done a lot of walking, I also really like this pose at the end of the day, it kind of gets into my outer hip. So outer hip on that left side. It's quite nice for the hamstrings as well. And it also, it's a very grounding pose. Just do your best to stay nice and even with the breath. And on your next inhale, slowly come on up. And turn the back toes forward, bend the left knee and then step the right foot forward, feet hip width distance apart, straight into the other side, step the left foot back. So the feet here are 
have some space between each other. It's like you're standing on train tracks. So just find that groundedness through the feet. And then again, notice through the low back, there's an even flatness. And if you want to go a bit deeper, once again, you can fold forward. And it's always great when we're doing things one side then another. Sometimes it shows us that we're not actually symmetrical. The human body isn't symmetrical. So don't get too freaked out about it, but just notice it for what it is. Be aware if you've got any old injuries on one side of the body. Sometimes that can show itself to you when you're working like this. And as opposed to feeling like you should be deeper or more bendy or whatever kind of myth is floating through your brain, see if you can just be wherever you're at. So just another couple of cycles of breath. And on an inhale, slowly come on up. Turn the back toes forward, bend the front knee, and then step forward. Come on up. And if you have one of your foldy chairs, you can magically sweep it together. Have a wall handy, stick your bum against the wall and bring your feet forward. Place the chair down and very gently, not crazy dramatically hurting yourself, you can place the chair just at the top of the thighs and then very gently walk the hands down the chair. Again, not being hung up on how deep you go, but rather seeing the chair as a kind of support for your forward fold. So you're not trying to uh, do a kind of guillotine routine. It's more about just feeling the kind of heaviness of the chair, the support of the chair against the top of the thighs, just to help in this grounding fold. Try and relax the head and soften your eyes. And on your next inhale, slowly lift the head up. Take your time and walk your hands back up the chair. I hope you enjoyed your chair yoga routine. Feel free to dance with it accordingly. <laughs> Thanks for joining me.